Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, trying to have, not to have a, an anxiety attack right now. Hi, my name is Nsalma Hutonji. I'm a freshman at Mercy High School. We got you! An existential crisis, a letter to myself. You've always known you were broken, even before the world decided to knock your homemade fragile lamp down. You can see the hole on the bottom now in the cracks that grow from it. Your person, puzzle pieces on the floor. You had it all figured out. She can fix you. She'll come. She'll come glue your puzzle pieces together and you will be whole again because that's what she did. Her soft voice whispers thoughts of okays in your head. It's not your fault, she always said, even on the day you left. But what if you're too broken to be solved or there's too many missing pieces? What would you do? Who would you be? I mean, it can't just be life short and then you die. <laughs> what if, what do you do in an existential crisis? What is the meaning of life? Sorry. Um. <clears throat> All the questions you never seem to have the answers to. So you ponder the different situations and possibilities of your angst as fear of death suddenly surrounds your thoughts, engulfing your body. So you lie on your bedroom floor and think about death. You become aware that you're a living, breathing organism that is inevitably going to die someday. You might die broken. And it's not just your persona you're showing the world, it's your independent existence, your entity. You'd like to think about people, the lives they live, the stories they have. Everyone is fascinating, but everyone is so impermanent. We're not invincible. The world doesn't revolve around you. The world doesn't revolve around me. But you shouldn't revolve around the world. And then he comes out of nowhere and just sits on your left shoulder. His perfect teeth shines as his smile deceives you and tells you to be quiet. Every, even your smile is too loud for the world, so you sit still and be quiet. Maybe don't think, not about that, it's not your fault. Sometimes I can't tell if he's a friend or a foe. But in the back of your mind, you're questioning everything. What, where are we going? What are we doing? So you reevaluate your life, and you realize that everything you've been doing to that point makes or breaks it. Every decision leads you somewhere, the chaos theory. And then you cry your eyes out because you're dying. Every second, you're growing closer to death. Everything seems to go back to dead. You agonize over why you take so many pictures, and then you take more pictures. Every moment, every person, every new idea that enters your mind, maybe you'll find a reason. You're missing pieces in them. Life is short. Yeah, and we die. It's the decisions we make in between. The people in our lives, happiness is waiting. It'll be here someday. There's so much to discover. I may be broken, but I'm not alone. This is the meaning of our lives. Why live it in fear? Yeah.